slow down Thomas. Thomas the tank engine had had a very busy day. As well as his usual passenger runs, he'd taken children on an outing and helped deliver parcels for Tom Tipper when the post van broke down. It had been hard work, and he had to hurry to get everything done in good time. By the time he got back to the shed that night, he was exhausted. Edward could see how tired Thomas looked. If you didn't rush around so much, you could manage much better, Thomas. Rushing around gets engines into scrapes. You'll still manage to get the work done if you slow down, and better still, you wouldn't be so exhausted at the end of the day. Thomas didn't want to listen to Edward. Going fast is fun. I know you're trying to be kind, Edward, but you don't always know what's best. Going fast can be fun, agreed Edward, but sometimes it can lead to trouble. Stuff and nonsense, said Thomas cheekily and went to sleep instead. But the next morning, Thomas still felt tired when his driver came to start work. As he set out on the branch line with Annie and Clarabelle, the two coaches seemed heavier than usual. He had to pump his heart as he could when climbing over the hill before the airfield station, and by the time he rolled over the top, he was almost out of puff. Maybe Edward was right, Thomas wheezed, and slowed down just a little bit for the rest of the journey. No one seemed to notice, and Thomas still finished his journey right on time. On the return journey to the junction, Thomas continued at the same pace. Some enjoyed his run. He listened to people at fences, smiled at the birds in the sky, and even found time to say hello to some cows in the field beside the line. This is lovely, he puffed to himself. Then there was trouble. Up ahead at the level crossing, a lorry was stuck on the line. One of its wheels had come off, and the vegetables it was taking to market were everywhere. Thomas had to stop before he collided with it. He braked as hard as he could. His brakes squealed as he went slower and slower, but the lorry got closer and closer. Oh, my wheels and coupling rods, cried Thomas. I have to stop. With one last big effort, Thomas came to a halt just in front of the lorry. Well done, Thomas, cheered the driver. You stopped just in time. What a clever engine you are. The lorry driver thought so, too. If you hadn't stopped in time, there could have been a very nasty accident. The passengers leaned out of the windows, cheering and clapping for Thomas. He felt very proud of himself, and it was all because he listened to Edward. That night, Thomas apologized. I'm sorry I was cheeky, Edward. You were right. I enjoyed going a bit slower today, and better still, if I had gone any faster, I might have hit that lorry. Well, I'm glad you didn't, said Edward. Sir Topham Hatt says you are a real hero. And I learned another lesson today, too.